What is the strongest fact that we know about depression when we try to search for depression mechanisms in the brain? The most strongest fact that we know today is that it relates to plasticity. Plasticity meaning that the brain becomes more manageable, more changeable, because neurons grow dendrites and spines in such a way that the connectivity is increased and becomes more flexible. This is a well-known fact. We know that SSRI and also ECT treatments for effective treatments for depression, these increase the number of neurons, dendrites, spines, and the brain becomes more plastic. But how does plasticity relate to mood? Plasticity probably relates to mood in the fact that when the brain is more plastic, it is more adaptable. We know today that the brain predicts all the time what is happening in the environment. And this prediction helps us uh, function well in the environment. Now, if the prediction is correct, then we function well. And if there is mismatch between the internal representation of our brain with what happens around us, then this mismatch will increase the, the distance between what is happening and the adaptability will be reduced. So there is some kind of uh, interactive mechanism where the brain predicts what's happening in the environment and adapts to it. And the difference, we can measure this difference as free energy or we can measure it as a delta. And when this delta increases, then probably the emergent property from that would be a depressed mood. When the delta reduced, is reduced, that would have an antidepressant effect. So this can explain how plasticity, which helps the brain reduce the free energy, the delta, helps the brain adapt, will emerge as an emergent property of, uh, uh, of uh, antidepressant effect.